Hey everybody, so the patch came out today with Revenant and um, the mite for uh, for pets and so I've been just socking away the gems as you see 57, almost 58k for Revenant which I don't think is very good but I also need Medusa, Trixie and Grimfiend dupes so uh, I figured I'd wait for Revenant roll for them. It's also discovered the treasure so you spend 2000 gold uh, you get a chance to open the treasure chest. So that was the plan, but now I'm thinking with the mite, I should crack all these eggs. And I think it's about 10,000 gems to get through all these eggs. So I'm going to make an egg cracking video, and then I'll roll the rest on heroes probably. So let's just see. 58,000 gems, see how much we have at the end. It's kind of expensive to crack eggs. I actually just cracked like uh, four or five epics that I got from the um, achievements which is cool, there's pet achievements now. I love logging in when you already have the achievement, you know, so you just get the reward, boom, boom, boom. I, I did not do well when it comes to uh, getting epics or legendaries out of the uh, epic eggs. There's two little Havocs. That makes about eight little Havocs I, I got since I've been hatching these. It's pretty crazy. I have gotten legendaries out of green eggs, though, so... There is a chance, but I figure even if they don't, I'm going to get a lot of dupes here to level up, which will bring my might up. My might was like 205, 206 before the patch, and now it's 210, so I got like 5k from my pets. I wonder, I'm going to write it down real fast so I don't forget it. I wonder, uh, point six, how much we'll end up going up with what we'll be able to do after this. Not that I'm going for might necessarily obviously I want my but I'm really all about the pets I really like the pets I don't know why and it might be just me but I swear they get bigger as they level like a little bit bigger that's probably just me though but if they did that'd be really cool except I guess they'll start taking over the screen that would be bad boy I wish they had just like a hatch 10 or something we've yet to get a legendary out of a green though that's not cool be interesting to see when these guys are like maxed and their skills are maxed how much oh there's a little havoc nice uh how much that actually affects things you know like the heal is the the group heal going to be huge is the single heal going to be huge like i mean game changing style but i think it is because i mean even now especially in like here be monsters you know i'll be sitting there at the end of the wave like real low and as the next wave's coming, my AoE healer gets like three heals off. And I think it's like 7k or something right now. But still, that's, you know, 21,000 health that they got to start with that they wouldn't have without him. So it buys time until my Ghulam can heal him up. And I've seen him do, you know, a decent amount in PvP. But obviously in PvP you're going to get oh, another, another epic or legendary from a green. That's good. I think we've gotten two so far out of like 30 or 15, I guess. It's weird, all all the legendaries I've got today, like 10, were all little Havocs, no mini Angies. How do you say it? Angie? Angel? I know JT calls it Angel, mini Angel. But that's not what it says, JT. It's mini Angie, or Angie. It's probably Angie because it would be Angel. You would say the G like a J, so it's probably mini Angie. But I like Angie because it just works. So what, what was that, three legendaries damn that's it oh ouch come on feed me some more legendaries out of the others i don't really have a big preference i guess if the silence one silence is longer that would be preferable um the one that does damage the buildings and whatnot is which i think is doom balloon is not necessarily great the aoe healer the single healer and the remove debuffs and silence or remove buffs from the player and silence like those guys are pretty awesome Four more. Gonna have to browse YouTube tonight and see if anyone's got any good videos of Revenant now. I'd, I just don't see him being that great. I mean, that stun's pretty nice, but I just don't see him being that great. And the videos I have seen of him wasn't impressed. So I think that made it three legendaries out of the first 15 and then no legendaries out of the next one. So let's see what we actually have now. All right, we can level our mini Angie to six, which I think, where's the compendium? 
Isn't six the next level of skill? Yeah, sweet. So that means this one will go to six. So we'll get 8% construction speed. This one will go to six, which would be 8% construction cost reduction. And this one will go when <laughs> have it goes, which would be cool. I like red crystals, right? Yeah. So reduce am ally damage taken by 50%. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I think you have to be 16 before you can do the next... Uh, No, wow, he can level up. What the hell? I, I've slacked, I guess. Because I didn't do this already. Wow. I could have been... So let's see, it was 50%. Still 50%, but the HP must have got up. Gotten up. Let's see. 14 out of 10. I'll take it. Devil's Fire. <laughs> Little guy's cute. 60% chance of 300 pet damage. Also reduce targets attack by 40%. 60, 340. Jeez, a bunch of these. I don't even know where I got them. 60, 350, and 45. So, yeah. I mean, it's nice, but that's what I was saying. I, I haven't looked it up, but I wonder what it's at when it's maxed out. Because, damn. You know, 5... Pets is going to make a difference. 25 out of 28. Oh, yeah, look at that. Level 13, my first level 13. No, 25 out of 28, dummy. 37 out of 24. Holy moly, I got some phoenixes there. Wow. Now I've already got 13. 42. Damn, Avier. I can almost do this guy twice. Damn. That's pretty awesome. For like 10,000 gems. Hmm. Nice. Level on a bunch of these guys. That's awesome. I need to go through and probably redo what heroes they're on. I haven't touched them in a while. It's just such a... It's getting a, to be a pain. I wish somehow there'd be like a hero interface, like the hero altar, and then there's like one little button. You click it, and it'll pop up which uh, artifact you want it in. Another button, you click it, and it'll pop up which pet you want with it. Something like that, so that you don't have to go to several different interfaces to get one hero ready, you know, to say, go do something like here be monsters and then you gotta switch it up for Lost Realm and then you gotta switch it up for Arena and then it's like oh man it's daunting not complaining because I like the extra features but it would be nice if there was a better interface or maybe I just need to use the interface better right well so that's about it on the pets looks like level 12 is my highest but I got several of them level 12 almost on my way to level 13 of course I just shot all my eggs so there that goes this is level 12 35% hero revival speed that's pretty crazy. Some of these boosts are pretty crazy. This is up to 12, too. 10% resource protection. And I'm not sure what that is. I'm just guessing that that's when you get raided. It cheats them of 10%. I don't know. These are my favorite, though. The gems. Oh, I want this level 12. Or 26, so I get 12. 26, so you know that their skills go up, or their levels go to at least 26. Wow. It's pretty crazy. And then you know they got to release a new pet soon. They're going to find a way to make money off that. Completed. That's cool. The, the eggs are in the quest now. Baby boom. Bah ha ha. Clever. I like it. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're as pet crazy as I am.